hello. As it happens, I know a very good mathematical way of estimating an unknown population using ping pong balls. What a lot of ping pong balls, but how many? Well, I don't know, so I'm going to try to estimate the number. Now, I could count them one by one, but that would take ages. So this is a little more tricky. What I do is take a good sample, quite a few balls, and I mark them with a felt-tip pen. Here we go. One, two, three, This technique is called four. capture recapture. Biologists use it Five, to find out six, animal population. Seven, 98, 99, 100. Now what do I do? I pour all these back in again. With real animals, you might clip or tag them, and then set them free and hope that they mix back randomly. I think that might be pretty random, but I'm going to choose another hundred, but this time we're going to use a blindfold. Four, five, six. I put the blindfold on so I can't see whether I'm choosing the ones that are marked or not. 60, 100. The question is, how many of those hundred are marked? So here we go. Knowing how many are marked with my original marks, one mark, two mark, will help me to work out how no, many there 11, are. 11, 12, 17. No, no, no. This is the theory. If you divide the 17 balls into the second sample of 100 balls, the proportion should be the same as dividing the first sample of 100 balls into the total number of balls. So, second sample divided by 17 equals 5.88. Now the first sample multiplied up, and that gives... 588 balls. And that's our estimate. It is time to reveal the actual number of balls. There are... 600. Not bad at all. Now, it's all very well finding out how many ping pong balls there are in a tank. Okay. But things get much more difficult in the real world. So here's another capture-recapture experiment. How many black cabs are there in London? Well, using the same maths as I did with the ping pong balls, I'm going to try to estimate that number. I genuinely have no idea how many there are be thousands, so I'm going to need some help. Off you go! Okay, great. Hey, the bigger the sample, the more accurate our estimate will be, so we spend two hours counting cows in five places across London. This counting taxis is not as easy as it looks. Whether we'll get this right, I can't be sure. We're noting the unique licence numbers as our way of tagging the taxis. We then come back at the same time the next day to count taxis for another two hours to see what proportion of them we've tagged the day before. Now into the warm for some maths. So there we are. We've counted taxis on two separate days for two hours each session. We've fed all the figures into the computer, so now it's the moment of truth. How many taxis do we count? The number of taxis we spotted on both days having run them through the computer, is 321. So we're now at the same mass that we did with the ping pong balls, and it should give us our estimate. So the second day's numbers divided by the number of repeats equals 6.64, or roughly a sixth of the cas we saw on day two had been marked the day before as well. So all we need to do is take 6.64 and multiply it by the number of cabs we saw on day one to get our estimate of the number of cabs on London streets. The total estimate is 12,140 with some decimal places. So how accurate is that? Well, I know just the person to ask. Bob Boddy is a long-time taxi driver and now General Secretary of the Cabbage Union. So what do you think of our number? Well, the total number of taxis licensed in London would be about 23,000. Oh, give, give or take a dozen or so. Wow. But you're talking about the number of cabs working at any one time. Yes. Well, allowing for day shift, night shift, overlaps, 11 to 12,000. You're almost spot on. Oh, Bob, thanks ever so much. Taxi! So this capture-recapture system worked very well for us, and it does work in quite a lot of places. As for me, I'll be happy to catch a London cab any time.
But as far as counting them is concerned, never again. <laughs>